You don't need to be a bodybuilding champion. You don't need to want to be a governor of California or to be an action hero or anything like that. If you want to excel in whatever you do, those rules are for you. It's that simple. So my first rule is find your vision and follow it because you can have the best ship in the world. You can have the best cruise liner, but if the captain does not know where to go, that ship will drift around the world and out there at sea and will never end up anywhere. And this is exactly the way it is in real life. If you don't have a goal, if you don't have a vision, you just drift around and you're not going to be happy. I always smiled when I worked, no matter how hard I worked. I always had a great time, no matter what I did. It didn't matter if it was in bodybuilding, or if it was in the movies, or if it was as governor. People ask me in the gym all the time, why are you smiling all the time? Why are you so happy? You have to lift 50 tons of weights. You have to train five hours a day. I mean, I look at the other bodybuilders' faces and lifters' faces, and they look kind of depressing. They look sour. They're miserable that they have to lift weights. You, you don't look miserable, you look happy. And I tell them always, I say, I smile because I know exactly that every rep that I do, that every set that I do, every weight that I lift, I get one step closer to turning that vision of mine into reality and becoming that Mr. Universe. So this is why, because I visualized that scene, this is why I did not feel that pain. I did not care if I was bleeding on my knees. This is why I try to tell you, always discover your vision and the rest will follow. Now my second, my second rule is never ever think small. If you're going to accomplish anything, you have to think big. You have to go and shoot for the stars. The biggest challenge most people have is because they think small. And the reason why people think small and why they choose small little goals is because they're afraid to fail. They know that if you shoot for a big goal, then the chances of failing are very high. And they're afraid of failing. It's one of the most common things why people are frozen and why they can't make a move in life because they're scared of failing. I say to myself, hey, I'm not worried about failing because that's part of life. You're not gonna be go and win everything. And how far can you fall? Look at this, this is the ground. That's as far as I can fall. And you know something? That the only time you really consider the failure is if you fall and you don't get up. But if you get up, you never consider the failure. So I never considered myself a failure. I always considered myself a winner, even though I fell every so often. But I always got up and I always moved forward. This is the important thing. I never had any patience, of course, for sm thinking small, because in German we have a saying, wenn schon, denn schon. That means that if you do something, then go all out and do it well. A third rule is ignore the naysayers. I think it is natural that when you have a big vision and big dreams and you have big goals that people are going to say around you, I don't think it can be done. I think it's impossible or no. I tell you, I heard this all the time, but I want to tell you, don't ever let them stop you from dreaming and from shooting for the big goal. Because eliminate just simply those words, no, impossible, and it can't be done. I mean, in each one of my careers, when someone said it's impossible, I heard it's possible. When someone said it can't be done, I heard it can be done. And when someone said no, then I heard loud and clear, yes. And I wanted to be that one that does it. I wanted to break the new records and I wanted to do something that no one else has ever done. So I think that's what you need to do. Don't ever be worried about that someone hasn't done it. Just think about how many times my career would have stopped. My career would have ended if I would have listened to the naysayers. My fourth rule is work your ass off. Nobody ever stumbled upon success by accident. Work your butt off. That's what I always believe. No matter what you do, work, work, work. I remember Muhammad Ali, one of my great heroes, had a great line in the 70s when he, when he was asked, how many sit-ups do you do? He said, I don't know, because I start counting only when it starts burning. When it starts burning, that's when it starts counting. You see, that's what makes you a champion. It doesn't matter in what area you're in. 
No pain, no gain. If you don't apply that rule, all the other rules won't mean anything. I mean, it drives me absolutely nuts when people say, I don't have time to work out. Have you heard that many times? I don't have time to work out, or I have worked so hard all day, I'm tired, I cannot work out anymore, or I cannot read another book, or I cannot improve myself, or I don't have time, or I work so hard that I cannot really improve my business, or I cannot grow as a person, or any of those things. What the hell are we talking about here? I mean, the day is 24 hours, you sleep six hours, so you have 18 hours left. I mean, I know there's some of you out there that say, well, wait a minute, I sleep actually eight hours, but let's just sleep faster, okay? Listen, when I came to the United States, I remember that I trained five hours a day, every day, and I was managing a construction business, and I was a bricklayer, and I went to college also, and I took acting classes from eight o'clock at night to 12 o'clock midnight. All of that in one day, every day I did that. I did not worry about it. I knew that I had 24 hours and I didn't want to waste one single hour. Just remember, you can't climb that ladder of success with your hands in your pockets. You must work your ass off. It's that simple. My fifth and last rule is don't just take. Give something back. Leave your mark on the world. Tear down that mirror. Tear down that mirror that makes you always look at yourself and you will be able to look beyond that mirror and you will see the millions and millions of people that need your help. And I saw those millions and millions of people. And this is why I tried to take every opportunity that I could to give something back. If not me, who? And if not now, when? So I feel very strongly all of us need to have and uh, embrace that kind of a spirit. To lead a truly full life, you must give back. You must leave the world a better place than you found it. Because the bottom line is, it is up to us. I mean, those rules that I've given you are important rules, but giving back is one of the most important rules. I guarantee you that if you follow all of those rules, you will have many victories to celebrate. You will leave, you know, you work, and you will have extraordinary kind of a record, and you will leave a legacy behind that you can be proud of. So I want you to remember those rules. Have a vision. Think big. Ignore the naysayers. Work your ass off and give back and change the world. Because if not us, who? If not now, when?